The Galaxy S10's ultrasonic fingerprint sensor just got fooled by a 3D printed fingerprint. Are you serious? My name is Kenno and you're watching Anchor Tech. Get the latest tech news and updates in the most fun way possible by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Samsung claims that the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10 Plus is more secure and accurate than any other fingerprint sensor on the market. It's a 3D sensor that uses ultrasonic sound waves to map out the details of the user's fingerprint. That should make it harder to spoof. Harder, but not impossible. An Imgor user named Darkshark claims to have fooled the Galaxy S10's ultrasonic fingerprint sensor with a 3D printed fingerprint. Oh, okay. According to Darkshark, he took a photograph of his fingerprint on a wine glass using his smartphone. He then used Photoshop to increase the contrast of the image. Then he created an Alpha Max and pulled the height and depth details in 3DS Max. And then he printed a 3D image of his fingerprint and used it to fool the Galaxy S10's ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. But the process is not as easy as it sounds. Darkshark said it took him three prints to get it right. But once it was done, it unlocked his phone as smoothly as his finger. Okay, so this is my gripe with this experiment. Why didn't he show us that only his finger was the registered fingerprint on the phone? It's possible he could have already registered the 3D printed fingerprint on the phone before making the video. All this might just be a hoax. I'm not saying the Galaxy S10's ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is impossible to spoof. I just need more proof to this particular experiment. But, in the end, all phones can be broken into. Any method of security can be hacked, with the most secure form of security being the old-fashioned PIN and passcode, followed by the iris scanner. I said the iris scanner because you'd need to have a nice shot of a person's iris before you can print it out and use it. Unlike the fingerprint that can be picked up anywhere, or the face that is open for everyone to see. The media is probably gonna blow up with this news pretty quickly and everyone would want to crucify Samsung. But you all should remember that any form of security or biometric can be hacked. If someone really wants to get into your phone, you're not going to stop them, no matter the biometric you use. It's just a matter of time and the willingness of the thief. Some people are just paranoid and want to criticize everything a company does. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.